they're saying Guadua and Guada, and I think I'm hearing Wadua. Guadua is the family to the bamboo. So uh, it's a cane. So the cane, Guadua, is large. Uh, you can make a furniture, houses, um, and you can cook in the Guadua. In the Guadua. Okay. Yeah. I kept hearing you say wa. It, so it's not a G sound, not G. Guadua. No, wa. Yeah, same. Guadua. Guadua. Okay. Guadua. There we go. Guadua. And some people call me Guadua. So they go, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I am not complicated with that, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 that's okay. Yeah, I just wanted to be sure I'm doing it right. So, <laughs> so now I want to chop tang glove. Um, um, on the garlic, I want to chop it. She can chop. <laughs> oh my gosh, some knife skills! Huh? Can... Good for you. Wow. <laughs> hey guys, uh, please tap screens. We have uh, we've got about 200 likes. Thanks. Let's see if we can get up to 15,000. Oh, that's gonna be our that's... goal. We got work to do. Hi, hello, Granny. Yes, Granny. That's like Granny. Hi, Ashton. So, yes, we want to chop the onions. Um, I'm sorry, the garlic. So, we have to be careful with the sharp. Dun -dun. Yeah, you, you've got some real knife skills there, Arix. Oh, thank you. Well, actually, you guys, uh, in in the Asian cuisine, we don't use that this kind the the knife. We use a cleaver. The cleaver is better for us. A cleaver. So, you guys, please share the live. We really appreciate it. In the Asian cuisine. That's a, the normal knife for cooking. That's bigger than you. That's bigger than you are. <laughs> so now we want to chop the 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 ginger the same way. So this this receipt her uh, have is a uh, easy ingredients you can find in the supermarket. It's not hard. So the basic is ginger, garlic, uh, salt, black pepper, um, G -O, uh, GMO, or O, -O G O L. So uh, we call it Hinomoto. So I have okay. some people, they don't like to use GMO because they know that the bring cancer you have to be careful yes you have to be careful but it depends how you use for example and uh, my grandma always cooking with a G gmo but uh, nobody in my family you know i am talking you the cuisine about more the 50, 17 uh, years ago, no? But uh, my family never died for cancer. Only one, uh, my uncle, it was because he is smoking three packs the cigarette the day. He is the section, but never it was for the food. So my conclusion for me is depends how you use it. I use just a little bit, not too much in my in my in the dishes. So for me it's fine. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. Don't worry. 
But other things, the secret, the, 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 G, the GMO is for make the flavor strong. No? Yes. So, you have a question? So, uh, yeah, is that all, Ginger? Sorry? Is, is that, that all, Ginger? Yeah, that's the ginger. Okay. I am up the gingers. I love ginger. It's yeah. so, so good. You know, you know what? Uh, the ginger help you for digestion. I know. Yeah, I help a, a lot. So, and as in cuisine, we use a lot of ginger, garlic, uh, jasmine, um, flowers. So, uh, roots, uh, mushrooms, so, uh, soy sauce, um, uh, um, oyster sauce. Uh, what is it? A homeholy um, in English? Yes, a homeholy. Oh, let me check. I'm sorry. Say it in, say it in Spanish. Sesame seed. Sesame seed, yes. Sesame seed oil, we use oh, it too. Sesame. Sesame seed. So now, <laughs> I have... It almost sounds the same. How sketchy. Okay, okay guys. What, what kind of meat is that? What kind of meat is that? That, well, I use the, uh, the meat like a... You can use brisket. You can use picanha. It doesn't matter, you know. It's not so matter. So it's okay. beef. <laughs> it's just beef. Okay. It's just beef. So we don't have a special, uh, a special uh, uh, cuts for 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 make this dish. So if you don't have uh, brisket, okay, use uh, use picanha. So that's fine. Picanha. Yeah, picanha. What is that? Picanha. Picanha is um is it like a owl flank or yeah, it's like this part of the cow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I wanna um I wanna cook the the beef. The meat and this one. That's perfect for oh, me. So, you, so you're just making uh, strips. You're just yeah. Making strips. Be uh, Becky is asking, can you use chuck roast? Of course, absolutely. You can use it. You can use it. Doesn't matter, but at just, the thing you have to cook like a strip. Okay. Yeah. And how much? How much is this gonna be? Sorry. How many? How how many people can eat this? Well, can this eat, one eat is only for me, for one person okay. or two person. So okay. actually, it's for two person, but I am eat for two. So <laughs> it's for me. Right. It's only for Port one. City, uh, uh, Port City Guy 420 says that picanha is a great kind of meat. But you know, they don't they don't sell it around here. I know that picanha is big in Texas, but uh, I've never never seen it around. Oh. No, the picanha is is really a good uh, a, a part of the cow, so you can make a lot of things with the picanha. It's not only one proportion, it's only for grill. No, no, no. You can use, um, you know, and so many dishes. So now, tell me. Oh, I'm sorry. Just need to do a plug for Food Talk TV. Uh, you guys, if you're uh, just growing through, please follow Food Talk TV. You can find more about Rx at our website, which is foodtalktv.com. Look for the creators page. You'll find you'll find more about all of us. Sherry Sherry Skinner, right, who is right above me. I'm cooking with Kaz. 
And you can also follow uh, follow Rx at her own uh, her own TikTok channel, which is What I'll, what I'll Cook. And we are available on all platforms. You'll be able to watch rewatch this live tomorrow on Facebook uh, and at Food Talk TV or at YouTube at Food Talk TV. So please, Hi, please, please share this live. Let other people know. Follow us. We are live every single day of the week. There's always something good cooking. Okay, okay, guys. So now I am I am going to start seasoning. So I am putting here when I seasoning with salt. Just one spoon of salt. GMO and uh, soy sauce. That's it. Okay. One spoon each other. Yeah, mix it. You know, say something like that. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I don't have too much soy sauce because this one is heavy. The texture is heavy. That's came to my country. So it's heavy. So. Okay, I would it, can you show that bottle? Would you show that bottle close? To the camera yeah these you can buy here we sell uh, oh. only in ecuador so my my uncle is owner of this company so oriental in ecuador so they sent to me <laughs> but it's soy sauce yeah it's soy sauce but at the texture look at the texture the texture oh, it's thick. yeah it's really thick so it's different to the other ones we sell here. Is is liquid like a? Uh, no, I don't like it. I I I don't have too much taste it. So, but uh, this one has flavor. Um, as uh, a strong like the the real soy sauce. Does your uncle have a website? Um, in Ecuador we have the. Oriental that uh, let me check www.grupooriental.com. So if you want guys, if you want of them, I think in my um, my cousin come to to Ecuador. So the next two two months. So he came in October, maybe October or, or November. I wanna send to you guys one of them, okay? You are right. You know what we'll do is we'll get the website from you later and we'll put it on your creator page at foodtalktv.com so okay. that people will be able to see. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So I want to add salt. It's going to be the same condiment. So GM, GMO, Alaba. <laughs> And one spoon, <laughs> the soy sauce. Bless you. Thank you. So, I want to say something like this. Let me make hands. Okay, guys. So, let's go. We want to cook that one. Hey, guys. Please share the live. Please tap the screen. So I, I want. I do have a question. Do you cook more Oriental flavor foods or more like Ecuadorian foods, Hispanic Every, foods? Everything. 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 Mm -hmm. everything. Awesome. I um, um You know, I don't have too much. Uh, uh, um. Um. um I don't have a favorite thing. I like do everything, especially when I, I'm when I, I'm, I'm I'm alone at home. So I am feel crazy something. I did it. So I must start practice, practice. You know, find flavor, textures, mix everything, or mix one thing, the another things. That's a that's the things um, I do. And Ecuadorian food, I am traditional, old-fashioned way. I don't like do the same 
everybody do. No, it is the old fashioned, the real food cook. So you have to be careful when you add other ingredients for make it better. No, you destroy everything, the recipe. That's, that's the things um, I do. When I, you create some receipt, you know what flavor it have to do because you're, um, you're spend time and the flavor be perfect and combined for other ingredients. That's the thing. So now my pan is hot. I'm at four spoon the sesame oil. I love sesame oil. The sesame it has oil. good flavor, just a good flavor. So the sesame oil. <clears throat> Let's go. I want to do something. I'm sorry. I don't want to, um, you know, guys, make you this or something. Okay. That one. That's going to be better. So. Okay. I want to add the garlic. I want to saute the, uh, the garlic. Have to be so that's careful. 10 cloves of, that was 10 cloves of garlic, right? Yes. So you have to mix it over here. I want these little babies a star a smell. Uh, there's a question here and I'll go ahead and answer it. Uh, Becky, uh, Sesame oil is a very particular flavor, so there's really not a substitute for it. So, look, Becky, so if you don't have sesame oil, don't worry about it. Use ve uh, vegetal or regular oil. Don't oh, worry. Avocado but oil? Yeah. Avocado oil is good, too. Yeah. But the thing is, we have to be careful not lose the flavor of the sesame. So right. the thing yes. is, uh, for her, if she, if she don't have sesame oil, that's fine. She can use regular oil, no olive oil. Be careful because olive oil, they have a flavor different. I so I don't want to mess the the flavors of the ginger and garlic. Yes, it, it's got a very particular flavor to it. Exactly. So you, don't, you, don't want, you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose exactly. I don't want to lose that. Yes. So now we want to add the the ginger. Oh my God, guys! It smells really good. I can smell that from here. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to be here with me. So cook for you. Me That's too. the things I love. Cook for my friends, for my family. Donde vives? Donde vives? Miami, Florida, Kendall. Oh, well, I'm heading to Florida after this. <laughs> Miami. That's a great place to live. I bet. Yes, it's a great place, but as uh, well, they have a good things and negative things. So I think I was thinking. I want to move uh, a little more, uh, a little to the north. I don't know if go to, to, to Pompano Beach or maybe Jupiter. So, because it's more quiet. Miami is so crazy. <laughs> Heidi, we're making um, uh, Asian beef and green beans. Right now, she's got she's uh, uh, warming through some ginger and garlic. So look at these guys! Oh my goodness! Hi, Mister Gonzalez. How are you? Thank you for coming. So now everything, you know, you have to be golden color. No burning, golden color. Look at this. Oh my God. So we want to add the beef. Okay. 
you guys please share the live. And if you're just scrolling through, please follow Blue Talk TV. You can, if you go to Food Talk TV, you can actually see the uh, the TikTok for this recipe is already up. Thanks for all, your, all the help, Mama G. I want to add what one cup the chicken broil. Yes, a little bit. What is that again? Chicken what broil. What? Chicken broil. Broth chicken. Oh, chicken broth. Uh -huh. Chicken broth. Chicken broth. Chicken broth. Okay. Chicken broth, just one cup. It's okay. okay. We want to tape this one over here. I leave this here, uh, the meat for 15 minutes, not too much, just a 15 minutes. I want to flip the camera again, guys. So now, uh, I want to make something is no in the receipt. No, but uh, I have a a lot of people asking me how to make one tongue. You wanna make one tongue? Yes. You wanna make some one tongues? I guess the one tongue you can use three meats. Okay. Shrimp, pork, and chicken. Oh, you don't have a shrimp, you don't have pork, you can use the meat or the protein, whatever you want. So for me, right now, I want to use chicken. Yes, I want to use chicken. So let's go and make a one tongs. So I want to cook these ones. That's a sharp knife. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, here is going to be maybe seven wontons. Yes, seven wontons. What do we have to do? The ingredient is going to be cilantro, chicken, salt, cilantro, and green onions. Are you going to boil or are you going to fry these? Yes. So, I want to cook yes. like that. Let me bring the chopper. Right, Becky, that knife is something else. I love her. Right? Okay, guys, let's bring the chopper. Right here. She's going to show us how. Okay. Let's go over here. We put all the ingredients together. Like that. I hope that's a very strong chopper. <laughs> no, this is this is the little one. I have to buy one better. <laughs> so salt. Yes, half a spoon, the little ones, GMO. Black pepper. That's a pinch, the black pepper. Okay, guys. You want to move it? Okay. Okay, we got 8,000 likes. Let's see if we can get 15,000, guys. Please share the live. Keep us on the um, okay. Keep us on the FYP. 
Now it's gonna be fluffy. Let's let's put the meat over here. Yeah, I you're right, Mama G. It is strong. I, mean, I, I didn't Did have you faith. Cook it that. before you put it in the wonton. Sorry. Are you gonna cook that? Uh, cook I was the going to ask her, do you cook that? Do you cook that before you cook? Well, I mm, I'm gonna uh, make the fry wonton. If you want to use for for doing a steamer on soup, you can do it. That okay, was the question. Uh, yeah. The, no, the question. Her question was. Uh, are you going? Are you going to put the raw filling in the wonton, or are you going to cook it first? No, no, no. I want to put inside in the shiva wontons. Okay. So, uh -huh. uh, uh, there is another question here. Uh, okay. The, on the white, uh, on the white jar, you call it GMO. Is that act? Is that um, MSG? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you can buy MSG. Uh, you can buy it at, at almost any store. It goes under the brand Accent. And you can buy it at Walmart. You can buy it any place. Uh, it's called Accent. It's in the seasoning section. Exactly. So you can buy in, in, in supermarket. You can buy on the um, in the Chinese is, um, in market, too. You know, is the pants. And uh, also, if you're looking for, um, if you seem that you can't find accent, get the uh, get the powdered ranch. It's got uh, accent, but it's got a little dill and butter in there too. But it's primarily primarily in a tea. Okay, guys. I have the. You can see. Okay, let me check. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's better. The, this that one is for egg rolls. No, the one tongue is gonna be it's a little, little ones, but I don't like little. I want my stomach full, so I use this one. The rolls, <laughs> the egg rolls. So yes, it's the same wrapper. It's just bigger. Hey, yeah. Chef Bradley. Exactly. Hi, yeah. Chef Bradley. So. I want to put over here in the corner, you know, like the triangle over there. A little more because this is not for sale. This is for family. That's about, <laughs> that's about three tablespoons worth. Did yeah. you wet the side of it? Yeah, exactly. I am wet with the with with water with water. So okay. if if you want add eggs, do it. But uh, you know, it's not necessary too much things. So. Let's make the easy way. So one, two, three, four rows, and another one. We want to look over there. So remember, you put it like a triangle, and you okay. move. You know. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So let's, let's see it again, though. Let's gonna see it again now. Yes. Let's see it six more times. <laughs> and you can use a chili hot sauce too. You can use tamarindo sauce or sweet and sour sauce. Well, for me, I want to use um, the chili, the chili, chili hot sauce. So guys, she's making a uh, she's making wontons right now uh, on the stove. She already has uh, Asian beef and and green beans with tons of ginger and garlic in it. Let's go. Welcome to Food Talk TV, everybody. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Let's go. Let's go. People share the live with uh, five uh, five five. 
five uh, person. So let's go. Tag, 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 tag the screen. Do me a favor, Arix. Uh, in Spanish, could you introduce yourself while you're still doing that? In Spanish? Okay, so... Estoy haciendo un saltado de vegetales con carne y unos guantón fritos. Comida asiática. So, mi nombre es Aurix. Eh, nací en Ecuador de padres chinos y madre judía, Israel, 100%. Llegué hace una década aquí en los Estados Unidos y trabajo para una buena corporación eh, y mis pasatiempos, cocinar. Fui dueña de dos restaurantes en mi país también, uno de los mejores, 16 años que de, de carrera en la cocina. Eh, aquí, bueno, aquí a veces hago, cuando me contratan para fiestas privadas, yo cocino. So, eh, y ahorita soy miembro de Food Talk TV. So, so Hannah, uh, Hannah underscore Liz09 says she's going to do this. Thank you. One times this week for her. Look at these babies. So the babies is ready for fry. Let me check. The temperature, two, 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 my temperature. Let me check the temperature of the oil, guys. Two. User 3563970. Uh, we're making wontons right now. Uh, those are chicken uh, with cilantro. And on the stove is Asian, uh, is Asian string beans and beef. And you're watching Rx Wong. She's our newest cook on Food Talk TV. And yes, she is bilingual. <laughs> so we love that. Okay, guys. So now we I want to flip the camera. I want to take this one. So let's go to, to, to the thing. See, to, to, to flip the camera. Okay, right there. Look at this. So I want to add the, the green beans over there. That's looking so good. Of course, absolutely. So now we want to use the last, the last one cup the chicken broil or broiled chicken, the last one. Chicken broth. Uh, chicken. Someone is asking where, where the wontons are located <clears throat> in the store. Where can you find the wontons at, in the store? In the store? So it depends on the store where it's located. So they have um, um, in, the, in the product de, uh, department, especially in Walmart, in product department, you can find you can find it. So the soy cheese, everything, um, the 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 mushrooms, everything you can find over there. So for Chinese, yes, uh, near the uh, you can normally find them in Walmart in the vegetarian aisle uh, in the the refrigerated same uh, place that you'll find tofu and meat replacements. Exactly. So um this is I am used. So oh yeah, they are right there. Doesn't matter the the brand, you know, we don't have uh, the 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 special brand. So when you make one ton is the same receipt the the dub is no is it nothing change. The thing is, okay. this uh, for egg rolls. That one is for egg yes. rolls. Uh huh. And the another ones you can find for for make dumplings. Or oh, one tums is gonna be the little one. Eh, eh, squares, but not 
it's not no no it's nothing different with the other ones. The thing is, I like it big because I put uh, more uh, more 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 top inside in the in the one times. Any more questions? Uh, let's see. Um, user, what, 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 you need user. You should actually put your put a name. Just make up a name and change your name so that it's easier to say. Uh, says that they would love to find a recipe for green chili stew. You know what? You should watch. Uh, you should go ahead and follow us because we make everything. Everything. Of and that's probably the things that we're, that we're going to get to. I can share the the receipt, of course. I can do that. Yeah, but, see? But, but I remember, uh, well, actually, they don't know. My part, uh, my grandparents, they are from Taipei, Taiwan, China. So we cook in, in different style, no? Like a Vietnamese style, Japanese style, um, a Korean style, we are different. So, but I wanna share one of the receipts, but uh, come from the the country that my grandmother, Taipei. Hey, we've got. Uh... Almost eleven thousand likes. We need to get up another five thousand before the end of this live. Please share the live. Please show some love to Rx. She's up early this morning doing this for us. Almost a store have a wrapper. They are pre-made. Yes, of course, absolutely. If you want to use it, use it. Look at this one. You like oh, it? Oh. Yeah, that's great. You should have shown that before. <laughs> Love that. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Going. So do, do you do you do that for every live? Sorry? Do you do that? Do you do that all the time? Make a board like that? Yes. Okay. Well, I think not all the time. It. I just I give that surprise because yesterday I buy the dad one. So, oh, I have an idea. I want to make something okay. different in the life. So, that's the menu. Love that. <laughs> Love that. Okay. So, uh, how long do you fry the wontons? The wontons, one five minutes side to side. Okay. Five minutes side to side. Just five minutes. You don't need to cook more. But uh, it depends. It depends the 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 temperature of you the the oil. It depends. So you have to be careful too. So the secret for me, I don't know if you saw guys. When I am making the wonton, I I take my uh, what is the trench? I am pinch over fork. here the fork. Yes, I put over here so I am fr uh, fry in this size first. So the uh, the the oil can fry fast inside. That's the way oh, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the way I do. So the one thumbs are ready, guys. You want a song? Yes. I want two. Because I'm hungry. Bama? I what I kind of oil? <clears throat> what kind of oil I am use? What kind of oil do you I've used for, for fried one thumb? Vegetal oil. You don't need something. Different. Just vegetal oil, the regular one. And that's it. It's okay. <clears throat> this one, I want to bring the chili hot sauce. 
No, that is it's not a chicken. It's a wonton Those with are, chicken uh, wonton. in it. Yes. It has chicken in it. You know, guys, let's go make some different. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy and they're cooking. So let's go make some different. I don't want to use chili, chili, um, chili sauce. We want to make our own sauce. Okay. Ketchup. When I use ketchup. Maybe ketchup. Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce. Lemon. Use. Lime juice. Salt. A pinch of salt. And black pepper. What do we have to do? We want to mix it. Here it is. Wow, that's perfect. I do a little bit because I don't, uh, it's, it's only ketchup uh, for me. So guys, it's ketchup, Tabasco sauce, salt, and what else? And lime, lime juice. Lime. Uh huh. Lima, uh, lim, uh, lima juice, <coughs> uh, ketchup, Tabasco sauce, salt, and pepper. That's it. That's our play. That's Can we get an overhead. Can we get an overhead picture of the wontons? Take of the camera course. and put it over here. Of course. So now, let's go for the next play. Okay, guys. Let me take that one. They do look pretty good. Yes, yeah, Savannah. Look at that baby. Okay, guys. Here we go. Ta -ta. Okay. Guys, if you're just scrolling through, please follow Food Talk TV. You're watching Rx Wong right now. I'm cooking with Kaz and Bama underscore Sherry. Sherry Skinner is a top box. Now we're getting ready to plate. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. Look at the flay. Oh my god. The green beans are amazing. Okay, we're going to we're going to need better pictures because we can't. It's in the comment section. So it's hard to, <laughs> hard to see. So that one's. So we want to add sesamo seed for the okay. corn. So look at this one. I love sesame seeds. You guys hang around for the hang around for the reveal. This is she plates beautifully. Look at this one. So I wanna show you when I flip the camera, guys. So I'm sorry for all this organization over here, but I look deeply. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. 
That's beautiful. She made all of this live for us this morning. Exactly. That's my lunch. Please follow. Oh, and there's the wontons. You know what? Uh, we had a request. Uh, someone wants to see what's inside. Wants to want you to open up one of the wontons so that we can see. Okay. So let's go. Let me flip the camera. So let me flip the camera. I want to show you what are the wontons look like. Look at this one. Ooh. Look at the color. Up a little higher. It's hot. <laughs> no. Do it up a little bit higher. Yes, higher than the comments. Yeah, there we go. Okay, look at this one. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, so you can add right here with the sauce. Mm. Mm. Wow. I want some. I'm sorry, but it's, it's delicious. It's chicken. It's chicken and it has um, um, cilantro, green onion, and what else? Yeah, cilantro, chicken, green onions, cilantro. salt, and pepper, black pepper. That's it. She put it in a chopper, uh, a mini a mini processor, and uh, made mm -hmm. it into a, into a paste. She rolled them up and she fried them. Yes, so let me put another one. You know, guys, you can eat this one with rice too, white uh, uh, rice. So we have a rice. With, you can eat with rice, uh, white rice. So you can mix it. Put a little ones over there. I don't want to use chopstick right now, so let's go make it quickly. Mm. That's really good. Yes, Mama G, it is beautiful plating. She, it would have she, been. <laughs> What's in Sorry? the beans? That's eight. That's Asian, uh, Asian green beans and beef. No. Uh, if you go to our TikTok, you can actually see her making, making it. Of course, absolutely no. You know, for the someone asking, uh, what is the beans? That beans, there's a regular one. So we have a different. Now, what is, so the last. Now they want to know what's. They're, Sorry, they're asking what's in with the beans what oh. is with the beans beef yes beef uh-huh beef yes go ahead and uh flip the camera again and show us again mm -hmm. you guys are just scrolling through we're watching food talk tv and this is rx wong she's our newest cook oh i have 64 <clears throat> oh 62 people <laughs> Look at this one. There we go. There Here we go. go. Yes. Uh, the one done, I'm sorry, let me take that another one because it was eating over there. So, yes. If you Look guys missed this one. Well, just you so you know. <clears throat> go on, Sherry. Sherry, oh, you, you go ahead. You, go. you guys, I was just gonna say, food talk is that to... okay? I'm done. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> if you guys missed this live or missed any of the recipe in this live, you can see it on uh, on Facebook tomorrow. The entire live will be there, and on YouTube. Go ahead, Sherry. Yeah, sounds really good. I was just going to say Food Talk is up to 49,000 followers now. Oh, nice. 
Thank you, Arix. No, thank you for everyone for them. Uh, uh, for them. For follow us. Uh, thank you, our followers. Thank you for the support. We have uh, our, um, we are um, creators. So we share one purpose is like cooking food for everyone in different style. So I am Latina, mixing uh, Jewish, Asian things, but uh, you know, we we are crazy, but uh, that the creators do. We are cra we create crazy things, crazy food. So, but I uh, thank you everyone for be uh, be here for us for uh, for your support, cast. Thank you so much, yes, Granny, Tricia, Christine, Andrea, Ashley. Mr. Sherry, it's an honor you here in, in the live. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so we are, okay, we'll be you. live tomorrow. We'll be live tomorrow. Uh, who's that? Oh, who is live tomorrow? It is Friday, right? Friday. Sketchy. Sketchy, Sketchy Chef. chef. Sketchy Chef. Uh, we'll be live at 4 p.m. Uh, Central Time. And we'll see you guys then. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate your, uh, uh, your support. Uh, esta es Guadua Cook. Se los quiere mucho de aquí al cielo. Y de vuelta para, hermano. Says Guadua Cook. Ciao! Ciao.